Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new here, what is up with you? I'm so glad you're here. Um, I'm so glad you're, you know, back at another video. Um, comment down below. How are you doing? How are you doing? Um, merch is down below in the description. Okay, hope you're doing well. Okay. Uh, yes, y'all. Let's get right into today's video. First things first. Um, it seems like Doja Cat has officially been teasing her new song called Mask. Okay. Um, and she has this new hairdo, whatever, this new hairstyle, or whatever. It is curly, little, like you know, fro and stuff like that. Um, you know, she's basically teasing for her next era. Okay, her next era is coming. She's teasing her next Scarlet edition. So y'all know how she dropped her Scarlet album, right? Cool. But guess what? She gonna pop out real quick with a deluxe version of Scarlet. Okay. Now, me personally, um, I'm excited. This is cool. But like I've been telling y'all for the past month, if it sounds like anything from Scarlet, like the Demon song, you know, the Demons, I don't want to hear that. Okay, turn it off. Okay, turn it off. I will be playing some gospel right after that. Okay. Um, but also, though, personally, um, you know, people feel like this is a new era. Okay. Um, they feel like she has stripped down from that aggressive you know, demeanor and aggressive image. You know, she's wearing longer wigs now. She grew her hair back out, allegedly. Um, so they feel like she's going to come back with a new fresh sound and it won't be so aggressive. You know, people just don't want that aggressive touch from Doja Cat, okay? Now, me personally, like, did I get scared by it? I didn't get scared. Like, I'm not, I'm not one of them weirdos who just got scared by the shit. No, I never got scared but from it. It just rubbed me the wrong way. Cause it's like you don't have to do this to sell a record. If you have to, if you have to rely on so many gimmicks to sell a record, Doja Cat, you don't want to do that. That's not cute. Okay, um, it's just not good. I mean, I get it. You know, to be able to sell records, you have to have personas and energies and different things and different vibes and different you know eras. I get that. I understand that. But when it comes off as gimmicky, I feel like the Scarlet era came off as really gimmicky to me. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just me. Um, cause I know, you know, but before the Scarlet era, I was a Doja Cat fan. Like if you scroll back to my older videos, like you would know I was rooting for Doja Cat really badly. But like, then the whole, like, I hate my fans thing happened, you know, this and that happened and it's just, everything just went left. So hopefully this next era moving forward is not that. Hopefully this new song, Mask. What, first of all, what the fuck is Mask? Is it masculine? Is it like, what, what's going on? What's T? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Um, you know, I think that's good though when art can keep you guessing and art can have you kind of kind of like, you know, oh, what is this? What is this? You know, when art has that effect on you, I think it, it you know, it, it's a good thing. It, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to not always know what art is about to go, you know, what direction it's going to go in cuz you know, she could surprise us and it could be a fully pop song. Um, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I doubt it though. I kind of doubt that it will be like a poppy vibe. The song is called Mask. You know, Mask probably won't have that you know, poppy type of effect on it. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to see how it goes. Um, Doja Cat fans, comment down below, okay? Are you excited for your girl New Era? Okay, are you ready for whatever whatever is coming, okay? And Doja Cat fans, okay, let's discuss. What do you want from her moving forward? You know, I feel like a lot of people, you know, they just don't really care what she's putting out as long as it's good. They're going to stream it. They're going to tune in. That's fine, but I feel like if you have a favorite artist, you should know what you want from them. You should know what you want to see from them, okay? So let's discuss that down below in the comment section. Um, I wonder how many sales, I mean, I wonder how, how much this song gonna do for its week in terms of performance, okay? I wonder if it's gonna get, get streams. I wonder if people gonna be playing it. Like, I wonder, wh how is this gonna be, okay? Uh, what is the motive gonna be like, okay? In regards to, you know, the song actually charting, you know, I hope it don't flop. Okay, because they saying Doja Cat could potentially be in her flop era as well. Now, I don't think she's going to be in the flop era because she has, she has a good payola deal right now. Okay, she has a good payola deal. So, I don't think her new song going to flop for real, for real. Um, but, you know, we're just going to have to see how it goes. We got to see how it goes, okay? But, yes, y'all, let's discuss down below. Let's move on to this next topic, okay? All right, y'all. Moving on to this next topic, okay? Um, I want to go ahead and get into Tyler, okay? Apparently, Tyler has recently um, gotten a big 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 gift from a big big artist okay beyonce beyonce herself has sent tyler some flowers okay i like that tyler just got into the game and she's getting she's getting flowers okay uh one thing about beyonce is she gonna send you some flowers and, and a fucking note okay she gonna send you some flowers and a damn note that's one thing she gonna do okay um and she definitely gonna be talking about some damn uh cursive handwriting okay that's just what she do, okay? Now, also, she sends Beyonce flowers. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Beyonce sends Tyler flowers um, for the congratulatories of her new album, okay? So that's good. 
that's really, really good. Okay, that's really nice. I like this for her. Um, you know, she has two big songs out, two mainstream songs out, and you're being recognized by legends. That is a big win. Okay, that is a big, big win. Um, I love this for her. Okay, now some people feel like Beyonce is moving weird. Okay, they feel like Beyonce is only sending out flowers because she just dropped her album and you know she want to be getting numbers and getting support from people who are popping right now. Um, they also feel like if you love her so much, why don't you put her on a song? Okay, first of all, why the fuck would Tyler be on a damn country album? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, y'all make me... When I read y'all, like... When I read people on social media, they make me lose brain cells. Like, I really be losing brain cells when, I, when I'm on social media because it's like, why are you thinking like that? What's wrong with you? Okay? Who raised you? Like, you... Uh, you like, I, um, I be so stuck sometimes. I'm like, these people are really delusional. Like, delulu is hell. First of all, it's too soon for Tyler to have a Beyonce collab, period. Okay? Period. I don't want that for her right now. Okay? A Beyonce collab is something you have to kind of, like, work for in your career. Like, you you don't just get that shit off the top like that. You can't give them to him. Okay? You, you can't just pop it out like, no. Okay? I feel like Tyler will definitely collab with Beyonce in a couple years, though. Okay? If Tyler can continue to stand the test of time for her career, she will be where she needs to be at. Okay? And if it's a collab with Beyonce, then it's a collab with Beyonce. If it's not a collab with Beyonce, then it's not a collab with Beyonce, okay? But we're going to see how that goes, though. We're going to see how that goes. Um, we're going to be analyzing that down below in the comment section. But I do feel like Tyler, in my opinion, I can see her being really big. And that's why I talk about her, because I really feel like she has a lot of potential. Um, she definitely does. And y'all may not agree with that, because you all may feel like she's just a, a, a fad. She's here one day, and she's gone the next. Or she's just a little trendy girl with a nice body and, you know, soft voice and cute face. No, I really see her, because she's really, she's really, she, I don't know. Something about her just makes me, like, interested. I don't know. It's hard to explain it. But, you know, some people have that, like, factor to just keep you, like, listening, keep you tuned in. Like, it's just like, ooh, like, who are you? Like, what you doing? Like, why you on your hip like that? Like... You know what I'm saying? It's just something like that, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see where Tyler goes in her career. I'm, I'm very excited. But I'm also confused as to why people feel like Beyonce needs to be giving out features left and right. Okay, why does she need to give out a feature to Tyler because she sent her flowers? Like, why would why would that make any sense? Okay, why would that... Why, why? Can she just not be, you know, respectful and just, you know, give another artist their props? Okay? Because apparently Beyonce, Beyonce likes the album. Okay? Apparently she does. All right? Um, she, apparently, apparently, yeah, for sure, okay? Um, but Beyonce has been giving out flowers to people lately. She's been giving us flowers to K. Michelle, okay? She gave out flowers to, um, Tyler, all right? She's giving out flowers to, uh, uh, Nikki, okay? She's just been, you know, she been in that garden just digging up some flowers like shit. Boop, 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 okay? Let's ship this out to these people, all right? Um, now, I don't know. Could this be a PR thing? Like, could this be, like, her PR is basically saying, okay, let's go ahead and celebrate other women, okay, in hopes that the public will see you supporting people and they will support you for your next era, okay? that That's that's what they saying, though. That is, that is what I've been seeing online. I've been seeing a lot of that online, okay? Uh, I've been seeing a lot of that conversation speculating uh, online, okay? Now, especially in regards to uh, Miss K. Michelle, Okay, uh, Beyonce recently sent out a card to K. Michelle. Okay, she sent flowers to K. Michelle, and uh, she was basically saying like, you know, congratulations on your next con on the era. Congratulations on you know you doing what you're doing. You know, congratulations, congratulations. Okay, and you know, people feel like why would Beyonce wait until she drops her country album to send K. Michelle flowers? Because you all know K. Michelle been doing country music for a while now. Okay, but she's just now about to release her country album. They feel like Beyonce is only sending K. Michelle flowers just so people can, like, think that she's supporting people. Like, why didn't you send the flowers prior? Like, why are you just now sending the flowers once your album comes out, Beyonce? Okay, why are you, like, I feel like people feel like Beyonce just moves really, like, performative. Like, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Um, and I don't know. Low key, though, people are upset that K. Michelle didn't get featured on Beyonce's album, you know, and she's a country artist, okay? So they mad that Tyler ain't gonna be on his album and she's not even a country artist, but they definitely are mad that K. Michelle didn't get a feature on Beyonce's new album and she's a country artist now. Well, she's not a country artist. She makes, she's versatile now. She's basically versatile. Like she do what she wanna do, have fun with music and she just pop her shit and she put out what she wanna put out, okay? And I respect that from, from, from everybody, from everybody in this industry. If you wanna make some music, make it, okay? But yeah, so Beyonce has then sent K. Michelle flowers for a country song, country album. 
only when her album came out. Beyond, after Beyonce's album came out. People just think it's just really weird, okay? Um, they feel like she should have got featured on, on her album. Would y'all want a K-Michelle feature on Beyonce's album? I don't know. Let's discuss it down below. Um, let's discuss down below. Okay, let's move on to this next topic, y'all, all right? Well, well, well. Moving on to this next topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I... <laughs> You know how some shit sound better in your head, and you just like, yeah, I can't do that. Anyway, moving on to this next topic, though, it seemed like Nikki um, has actually caused a surge for Losi. Okay, as you all know, we discussed Losi in um, the last video. Well, y'all know about Losi. Yeah, y'all know about Losi. The new shoe collection Nicki Minaj has coming out. Um, actually, I'm sorry. She's a owner of the company, and she is dropping a new collection under ownership of the Losi company, okay? We didn't, I, I just found I just found that out today after she had tweeted it, okay? At first, I thought it was just a collaboration, but no, Nikki actually is in partnership and ownership with the Losi brand. So congratulations on that. This must have just happened recently because I haven't heard about this till the shoes came out. Um, you know, it must have been happening, you know, the, the ownership thing I'm talking about must have happened within the past maybe six months probably. Um, you know, so this, that's a good thing to see. Congratulations on that, okay? So she has caused over 3,000% increase for the Losi brand, okay? Her brand, Losi, okay, that she owns, all right? She has um, made a, a big jump in traffic, okay? Like, people are, like, flocking to buy the shoes, okay? I mean, flocking, all right? People are saying in the comments, though, uh... Somebody said because their brand is unknown and wasn't getting clicks in the first place. See, y'all be on that hater shit. Like, why do y'all be alive? I'm just, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not wishing death on nobody, but it's just like, why are you here, bitch? Um, anyway, so this, but okay, look, when this happens, it means that an artist who was a big status is giving a big promotional push to a brand, which is why it's jumping that much. I didn't know it was just this much, you know conversation around why the numbers are jumping you know it's Nicki Minaj here we're talking about it's a big name artist okay that's yeah all right now some artists though they can't sell out clothes they can't sell out shoes some artists don't bring that traction you know some artists have tried to you know sell out clothes and they have failed and they had to get money you know resent back to the investors and they had to pay back you know it, it's some stories out here like that okay you know you can put the pieces together in terms of who i'm talking about um whose clothing brands and items like that have failed okay so the fact that it's a three thousand percent increase in terms of traffic on the website that's a big deal boo that's a big big deal okay so don't do that weird one don't do that weird one okay so i'm excited though i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited um now are you all copping shoes are you all getting the shoes i know some people say in the comments they're gonna get it okay um, I'm getting them. I wish they were out now so I can buy them for the tour. Because I, really, I would wear the pink shoes for the tour. Like, it goes along with my outfit just right. Well, does it? No, it doesn't. I'm lying. It don't It don't go along with that. But if maybe she has, like, a, a brown pair, it would go along with my outfit. Um, real bad. Okay? Uh, for the tour. Oh, my God. Yeah, my tour date is two days away. Two days away. I'm geeking. I'm anyway, sorry. though. Anyway, 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 anyway. Um, I feel like we are witnessing a female rap billionaire. Okay? I said this. Now, it may not be, like, within the next year or two years. It may happen, like, you know, within the next decade, pro pro you know, probably. But I can see it happening eventually. But I feel like the billionaire status is going to come when she leaves the music game for a while, you know? Because when you're doing music and you're on tour and stuff, you don't have that much time to be sitting up here making businesses and making all that money. I mean, you, you can still make a lot of money from the businesses, but, like, becoming a billionaire status, it takes focus. Rihanna had to leave music and focus on her businesses to become a billionaire. So I feel like Nicki's going to leave the game. Well, she won't leave the game. She's going to take a big break and then come back and make more music. But she's going to be a billionaire within the next decade. I can see her being that. I, I, it may not be, like I said, it may not be next year. It may not be two years, three years from now. It may be within the next decade. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, think about having the businesses. It takes time for your business to just grow, you know? Rihanna launched Fenty and stuff in 2016, 2017. She didn't become a billionaire like that until 2020s, you know? And it took some years. It took, like, you know what I'm saying? It took some time. Actually, fuck that. She launched Fenty in 2015. Yeah, I remember back in 2015. So it took like half a decade for her to get to, her to get to the billionaire status. Okay, so you know it's gonna take time for Nikki to get there. She's like already like 25 percent there for her. For her. She, only, she only has like 75 percent to go. That's not hard. Okay, if she, if you could do 10 percent, you could do 20. If you could do 20, you could do 40. If you could do 40, you could do 80. You could do 80, you could do 106. Right, so I can definitely see her, um, you know, becoming that billionaire status. You know, in the years to come. Okay, now, I'm excited for that. Now moving on though. 
I want to go ahead and get into um, Nikki some more a little bit, and I want to get into her radio play. Okay, apparently Nicki Minaj um, is doing pretty good on radio. Okay, she is top five with FTCU. Okay, FTCU has been doing pretty well. It's consistent on the charts. It's stable. Okay, it's pretty stable, and this is good to see. Okay, um, top five on rhythmic radio, pretty good. Okay, pretty good. All right, um, and the thing about this is that it's not payola. Because people are actually streaming the song, you know, you know, you know something is payola when like it has hella radio play and all these spins on radio and all this, you know, heavy push on radio and nobody's streaming the song. Okay, no, FTC, FTCU gets streams on the daily. Okay, it gets streams on the daily. Okay, um, yeah, I'm just being real here. Okay, so this is exciting to see. This is exciting. This is exciting. Okay, um, let's discuss down below in the comment section. Um, no, no shade, Nikki, no shade. I ain't realized to just now, but low key, I want an FTCU music video. Yeah, I want an FTC. Yeah, FTCU music video. If anybody on your on your, your team is listening, or you if you're listening, maybe I don't know. Hopefully, FTCU music video. Okay, and everybody music video. Those two songs, I want a music video for. Okay, I'm just being real here. I'm just keeping it a bean. <laughs> and um, I'm itching for a music video. Okay, congratulations are in order for SZA. Okay, SZA, you know she's been doing pretty good lately. All right, and SZA, SZA's SOS album was the most streamed female album globally in 2023, okay? Yes, SZA surpassed Taylor Swift's album Midnight, okay? The most streamed album of 2023, okay? The album ranks at number two on the 2023 IFPI global streaming chart, okay? Now, the reason why this is a big deal is because, you know, we all know SZA, you know, her album, that was literally, I think, one of the best albums of the decade, for sure. But mind you, she has more streams than Taylor Swift, and she lost album of the year. That's not crazy to y'all. Like, I'm sorry, no shade, but an artist like SZA surpassing Taylor Swift, that's not normal. That's not normal. That shows the genuine love that the album that SZA has on her fans. Like, it shows, like, people love the album, Okay. Obviously, they love it more than Taylor Swift's album. And if the Grammys is for the people and, you know, they, they care about what people love, then SZA would have got the album of the year Grammy, which she deserved. It's just weird to me. Okay? Literally, she topped Taylor Swift in 2000. You know, I don't think... No, I, I don't think y'all understand what I'm saying right now. Y'all think it's just, oh, it's just some streams. No. Taylor Swift is like the music industry. And SZA surpassed her record of an entire year. That's crazy. Okay, mind you, Taylor Swift been popping out albums and, you know, many, many songs and many, many stuff, you know, and it couldn't even surpass SZA's record. So that's just crazy to me. That's just crazy. Um, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Uh, but hey, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. But, you know, SZA, she is something to, she's something to, to not play about now. She's something, she getting serious. She's entering that A-list status. For a long time, SZA was giving me, like, B-. minus. Like, she was never, like, back. Like, she was never, like, you know, underground. Well, she was for a, a minute. But, like, for a second, she was, like, you know, B-. minus. You know, she was, like, left to center, you know. Now she's becoming, like, you know, front row. Like, oh, yeah, bitch, I'm here. You know, sold out tours, more streams and pop icons. That's crazy. Okay, and y'all swore she was overrated. Now, okay, look, I don't think SZA is overrated. I don't think so. She don't give me that. She don't give me them vibes, okay? She had literally the most streamed album of the year for a woman. That's not overrated. I'm sorry. I mean, it just, I, I'm just being real here. I just, that's not overrated to me. I, it's just, overrated is, is, is what? I can, I can, if y'all want to go there, I can go there. Y'all, y'all be, y'all, y'all be mad if I say who really overrated though. But I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna push y'all buttons today. Cause I want to be on y'all good side, Okay. But, you know, hopefully her next deluxe project can perform as good as the original. Okay? Because, you know, Lana is a deluxe version of um, SOS, allegedly. Well, she... I don't know what's going on with her or not. She keep crying about these damn leaks. Okay? She's in her feelings boohooing over these leaks. Girl, put your big girl panties on and put the album out. Like, I don't know what's going on with that. That's... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that at all. But, yeah, so that's what's going on with her, y'all. That's what's going on with SZA. She has the most streamed album of 2023. Congratulations to her. Um, she definitely got snubbed at the scammies, but it's cool. You know, we don't need scammies out here. We don't need no scammies, okay? Scammies need us, okay? We are the ones who give the scammies the power, which is the fans and the musical critics. We give the Grammys the power. So if everybody just stops tuning into them and stop listening to them and stop talking about them, guess what? 
They have no power because nobody's fucking caring about them. So let's move on to this next topic. All right, y'all, moving on to our next topic. I want to go ahead and get into Chloe Bailey. Um, fans are wondering and speculating, uh, is Chloe Bailey back with Gunna? Okay, as you all may or may not know, but back in like 2022, um, 2020, no, 2022, before Gunna was locked up, okay, um, Chloe Bailey was all over that man, okay? She was all over Gunna. Um, she was even doing songs with him and shit. You know, they was a little little thing or whatever, okay? They was booed up, okay? Um, and now fast forward, okay? Once he got locked up, okay? Chloe Bailey said, you know what? You know my man no more. You know my man, okay? Um, and she basically was just not really holding him down while he was in the cell, okay? And people feel like, okay, that's cool. It's fine. But fast forward, Gunner is now out, okay? He's out of jail now. And guess who was back up boo loving on Gunner? Miss Chloe Bailey, Okay? Um, people saying Chloe Bailey career flopping and now she's trying to reuse Gunner for clicks and views and streams. Okay, that's the speculation. Uh, now me personally, I mean, is it bad that she's doing that? I mean, no. I mean, is it, uh, look, is it bad that she's, she didn't hold him down when he was in the cell? Yeah, that's bad. I'm sorry, boo, that's bad. How that's your man, but you don't hold him down in the cell? That's weird, okay? But is it bad that she's using him for clicks and views? No, everybody does that. Everybody link up everybody in the industry. It, it, it's, it's the industry for a reason, okay? It's, it's Those people are like peers. They're like coworkers, okay? When you having a rough time on your job, who you call? Your coworker. Hey, I need some help. All right, bet. But their, their form of getting help is like linking up for, you know, different publicity reasons, you know, linking up for, you know, just stunts and clicks and views, you know, like that's their linking up, that's their help, okay? So it's all the job, you know? So I'm not gonna sit up here and say, oh, that's bad. Oh, you shouldn't do this. Cause everybody does that. Everybody uses other artists' name for their projects or for their image or for their name, you know, for their own benefit. For example, Ice Spice, Taylor Swift, okay? You know, Ice Spice using Taylor for, you know, publicity, okay? Um, you know, and Sexy Red and Drake, you know what I'm saying? It's like that same, you know, they have these new sidekicks, you know, industry people that, you know, they have sidekicks for a while, you know? Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, hey, it is what it is, okay? But Chloe Bailey, um, if that was your man, why would you do that to him? If that's your man, you need to be st sticking beside him, okay? For as long as you can, okay? Not, see, you ain't sticking through when the storm got high. You, you was, you, you ain't sticking through when the storm was storming. Okay, you was somewhere out here, you know, twerking on stage, all right, and people was asking you about Gunner. You act like you ain't know him, but now he out of jail now again, and now y'all best, y'all cool again? No, okay, that's weird. Okay, I um, mean, if you all may say, oh, they, they never confirmed that they were dating. We don't, I don't give a fuck about the confirmation. We all knew they were dating. Okay, we all knew they were the way they was acting, the way they was talking, that music video they had, the videos of them. They was out seen and um, dating. Uh, that was out for dinner. Yeah. Okay, now they linked up again. They, yeah, there's something going on between them two people, okay? For sure. But I don't know. Maybe I'm looking too deep into it. Maybe they're just friends. But I highly doubt, you know, they're friends, okay? I highly doubt, okay? I highly doubt, okay? But yes, let's let, let's go ahead and move on to this next topic. Let's discuss down below in the comment section. What y'all think? What y'all think? Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Moving on. Um, Congratulations are in order for Beyonce. Congratulations are in order for um, Beyonce, okay? um, She has recently broken the record for a lot of things okay a lot of things but first thing i want to get into is the fact that she apparently has the most streamed album okay um of the year for um albums in the first 24 hours okay so it surpassed ariana grande's record okay i mean that makes sense you know ariana grande doesn't have as many songs as beyonce's album so of course that happened of course okay um beyonce breaks the record for the most simultaneous top 50 songs in u.s apple music okay that's crazy, all right? That's the most songs ever in the top 50 on music. Oh, that's crazy. It's, oh, wow, okay. She got 26 songs in the top 50, okay? Okay, Beyonce, all right? Um, You know, and she also has, um, you know, been out here at meet and greets in Tokyo. Why the fuck are you in Tokyo? Why aren't you in America, okay? Why aren't you doing a meet and greet in America? Okay, that's weird. Um, Yeah, so, you know, she's just doing it big. She's doing it big, okay? Um, And she also is... Um, number one for the Rolling Stone, okay? Um, Rolling Stone has given her the um, instant classic badge, which means that it has broken the scale of being the best album, okay, on their ratings. Okay, so that's pretty good for her. Pretty good, Beyonce. I see you. Okay, am I surprised, though? Um, let me think. Let me think. I'm not surprised that Beyonce is getting this recognition, but the fact that 
she's in a new genre, I'm pretty sure she feels good because she is trying something new and it's becoming successful. Okay, I feel like that that feels good to her. Okay, um, you know she's branching out to different things and that must feel really good. You know, so I feel like that's exciting for sure. Okay, that's definitely exciting. All right, but I also want to say like I wonder like you know I wonder if she's going to you know go on tour this year or next year. You know that's the conversation, y'all. Okay, um, we did have leaks about it. You know they are talking about it, but I feel like she should wait till next year to go on tour. Okay, let the music sink in first. Let the music sink in. You know, let us find the songs that we like. Let us, you know, vibe first. Let us save up some money, okay? And then we could discuss, you know, all the other stuff, okay? Then we could discuss all the other rah-rah in regards to, you know, your tour, okay? I'm not saying I don't think that she should go on tour, like, soon. You know, if she, if she, hey, if she got the stuff already set up, you know, the, the stage ready, you know, the dancers, you know, they ready to crack their back and pop their hips and twerk, cool, I'm 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 gonna go into my little savings, okay? I get a little one band out and go ahead and pop my pop myself up with that tour. But if not though, cool. It give me time to actually properly prepare to save for the tour and just put away money. You know what I'm saying? The right way. Uh, but you know, Beyonce, I do feel like personally though, I think this next era for your tour, I think you should not really you know charge that much, okay? Okay, I know the Beehive is li- listening like, you dumb as hell. She going to charge you a billion. Yeah, I know. She going to charge. I know, I know, I know. But still, okay, I think it would be nice to, you know, give us a new breath of fresh air. All right. Um, But yeah, so the album is pretty good. Um, I love Ripper Dance, Spaghetti, um, 16 Cigarettes. You know, that's my song. Uh, And I like the last 30 seconds of Texas Hold'em. And I like this song called, what else I like? I like Tyrant a little bit. No, I don't like that song. Uh, I like, I like that song. But yeah, it's a really good album. Well, mm, mm, okay, look. I can't say that I like the entire album because I haven't fully digested myself into the album. Like, I haven't really, like, you know, got into it, got into it for real. Like, I've played some songs on the album, but I haven't, like, all right, let me get into my zen and play the album. I haven't done that. Okay, I haven't done that, okay? But I've heard some people have done that. They 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 they, they, they put the whole album on, played it front to back, and they still hate that shit. <laughs> they still hate it, okay? Um, <laughs> That's crazy. Well, it's not crazy because everybody has their own taste. Some people just cannot get into the country music, and I understand that. Some people just can't get into it, okay? They just can't. Um, but the people who are being closed-minded about it, that's why I have an issue with. I hate, I hate closed-minded people, closed-minded energy, closed-minded things, closed-minded behaviors, closed-minded thoughts, closed-minded. I just hate it. Like, I hate people who just are so... Ugh, it just makes me, it gives me the ick. Like, you are so loser. Like, you're a loser. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not saying you close minded for hating the Beyonce album. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, like, if you listen to it, you hate it, okay, cool. If you don't like country music, cool. But like, just, just being close minded oh, she need to go back to doing Dangerous Between Love. She need to go back to doing Lemonade. That, 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 that makes me itch. Because it's just like, okay, you just, uh. But yeah, let's move on to this next topic, y'all, okay? All right, y'all, moving on to Rolly. I'm sorry, I mean Lizzo. Lizzo has recently announced that she's quitting music, okay? She has issued a statement on social media, and she has basically made it known that, hey, like, I am quitting music. I'm done. I'm over it. I am just not doing it anymore, okay? Um, She said that it's just too much for her, and she didn't sign up for this. You know, like, she basically just saying, like, you know, I just can't do it no more. I just can't do it no more. I can't do it no more. They call me big, you know? But, you, okay, anyway... Let's go ahead and get into her statement. Okay, Lizzo takes to Instagram. She says, I'm getting tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in my life and on, and on the internet. All I want is to make music and make people happy and help the world be a little better and better than how I found it. But I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. I'm constantly up against lies being told about me for clout and views, being the butt of every joke every single time because of how I look, my character being picked apart by people who don't know me and disrespect my name. I didn't sign up for this-ish. I quit. Lizzo loves playing victim. She loves trying to get the sympathy card. Like, she operates off of, like, people feeling bad for her. Like, oh, so bad for me. Oh, my gosh. Do you not know, like, you're, like, you, if you think this is bad, you would not survive the Nicki Minaj hate train. If you think this was bad, you would not survive Beyonce in 2016 when she was going up against racist people for her performances. If you think this is bad, you would not be able to survive all the hate that Whitney Houston has gone through when she was on under the stuff that she was doing when she was doing her um her her you know her you know her stuff 
Um, like, like you're weak. No shade. You're you're weak. No shade. And to be in this industry, you can't be weak. No shade. You're weak as hell. Okay. People are making fun of how you look, but your Instagram is called Lizzo Be Eating. What the fuck do you want them to say, baby? I don't get it. Your Instagram name is Lizzo Be Eating. Like you're like you're emphasizing that you're big. So if you can emphasize that, why are you mad people calling you big? Like your name is li- literally Lizzo Be Eating on Instagram. Like I thought we all were okay with the jokes. I guess not. Okay. She loves a, a, a good sympathy role. She loves playing playing the. Oh my gosh, guys, cry for me, Lizzo. I'm tired of it. You have not gone through much to be crying about anything. I'm just being real. When it comes to the industry, like, can you imagine being like a child in the music industry? And people are like, basically like hitting on you and basically like making predatorial jokes towards you, like Britney Spears. Like you think you got it so bad, you don't have it bad, Lizzo. I'm being real, you don't have it bad. Every single artist in this industry has gone through some sort of like criticism or like crazy backlash. It's normal. It's normal. It's normal. This is what this is exactly what you sign up for. Being when you sign up for this fame and all this this success. You don't sign up for for sunshine or rainbows and money. It's that's it's it's way more to that. Okay, if anything, everything else overshadows all the good. For real, for real. If we're being real here, okay, you don't have privacy. People can say whatever they want about you. Okay, you don't have any of that. So I don't like the fact that like she's acting like she's just the she's just going through a hate train and she can't breathe. You're not going through a hate train, boo. Just you know, pick it up, keep going. And first of all, nobody really talks about her. Nobody, like, like no shade. Nobody gets into Lizzo like that. Nobody discusses Lizzo, okay? Nobody is talking about her music or her, like, it's just, no, okay? This shows you that she is not as strong as she needs to be in this industry. And if you, if you want to quit, go ahead and quit, boo. Just quit, okay? Quit. But in my personal opinion, I feel like Lizzo needs to understand like you will not be liked by everybody. Your name will be lied on. Your your character will be destroyed in the public. But as long as you and God know who you really are, all that shit wouldn't matter at all. It wouldn't matter. Because guess what? When you, when you know you are authentic and true and your and your intentions are pure, the truth will always come out eventually. The truth will always come out. When you're pure, it just nothing real can be threatened. Nothing real can be threatened. So real energy, real vibes, real intentions, Real can never be threatened. So, Lizzo, if you feel like this is not for you, go home. Sit, sit on the bench, eat your food, okay? Because, you know, Lizzo be eating this shit, right? Liz, Lizzo be eating, right? <laughs> you can't even handle your own jokes. That's a problem, okay? So, Lizzo, I get it. Cool. Quit your music. I wasn't streaming anyway, so, hey, I ain't missing out on shit. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, that's my personal opinion on that, y'all. My personal opinion on that. Uh, let's discuss this all down below. Okay, I would love to hear what you have to say, okay? Yes, I will see you all in the next video. Be safe.